I have been waiting a very long time to make this video, but I'm very excited to finally tell you guys that the brand new Neon Heights Rings map is completed and ready to go. If you've been a long time fan of the channel, you'll know that I made the Glacial Rings map over a year ago, which I later reskinned into a lava theme. And I learned a lot about what it takes to make a proper rings map for you guys to improve on. So in today's video, this is gonna be the very first run through of this brand new map. And I'm gonna show you guys what I made improvements on from the last map and why I believe this is a much better map to improve your aerials in compared to the last one. They're both honestly very great. Great, but I just love the look of this one and it's so much more enjoyable. I think the theme is great. So you'll see what it's like when we go through all the levels. There's some really cool moments that I strategically planned throughout the level design uh, to make it very, very enjoyable. So let's jump right into this very first test run and see how it goes. Hope you guys enjoy. So before we even move in this map, I just want to talk about uh, my future plans for rings maps. I think I actually want to produce way more of these uh, more often. I think that after playing through this one and what I learned from the first two that I've made, I think I can really nail this down to a, a science about how quickly I can make these maps and, and you know, change up the themes and stuff. Um, because this one was really enjoyable just looking around like it's so pretty. Look at that. Um, it just makes it so much more fun to improve your aerials and just train. Um, and just, you know, blast some tunes or something and, and play through the map. Um, but this is Neon Heights, as I said. Um, this is going to be the very first run ever of this map for me. And uh, honestly, I'm very, very excited personally because I finally fixed all the little issues uh, and also improved upon some of the logic from the first map. So there's three different game modes. There's normal, hard, and impossible. And when you load into the map for the first time, it will just put you on normal by default. We're just going to run through the map on normal for the first time uh, and just go through it. And when you're playing on full settings on this thing, oh my goodness, just the shadows and everything, it's so pretty. Um, there are 20 levels in total, and uh, just like the first map, Glacial Rings, what I did was I made uh, the map five rings, I mean five levels. Every five levels, the rings get smaller, so you'll see that as you play through it. They're pretty big right now, um, and they're about the same size as the first uh, first map, the Glacial Rings. I think I made the, the final five a little bit bigger because people complain about the hitboxes, so... Um, overall, it's pretty much the same sizes though. Um, but just as you go through this, you're going to navigate through the city. And uh, I just love the look of it. It's so much such a better theme uh, for me anyway, uh, style-wise. Um, but I put a lot of work into creating a lot of aesthetics over top of the, the ring and level design. Um, but the biggest thing for me obviously was how it felt to go through the rings. Um, while also creating a pleasant viewing experience. You know, it's nice to the eye, I guess. And uh, we're already on level four. As you can see, the first five levels are pretty quick. Uh, but as you go through, I think the average run time for these maps, or this map is about nine minutes um, if you go through it without deaths. So I think we'll, we'll, we'll aim for around nine and a half minutes and hopefully we can reach that without dying. Um, if we do run through it without dying, then we'll just do an impossible mode, which is a little more stress and we have to not die as well. But uh, I hope you guys do enjoy this video and a first look at it. Let me know in the comments what you think of it and what themes you want to see for a third rings map because I want to get right on to working on the next one. Because what I did with the, the glacial rings was I copied the map over and then used the logic of that one to produce this one a lot faster um, instead of building it from scratch, which I think was really smart. Um, it helped me make this map really quickly. All I did was build up the levels and then I can just uh, use the logic of the first map. What I mean by logic is like uh, all the maps, ha all the rings have uh, triggers around them which stop you if you go around them. Uh, so you have to fly through each one to finish the levels out. Um, the other improvement I made on this map is the fact that whenever you finish a, a stage, it counts up your, your level count. So if you reach the end, I know a lot of people like skipped levels uh, in the glacial rings and, and then, you know, screenshot it and added me on Twitter like, hey, I beat, beat your map in 50 seconds. Ha ha ha. So in this one, you have to actually beat all 20 levels in order to for the final uh, countdown. Or for the final level to, uh, you know, actually reward you with the win. Look at this. Look at this angle right here. Oh my gosh. There's just so many moments like that in this map where this, the moonlight really adds some really cool shadows. I think my favorite is level 17, I think it is. Uh, when you're flying straight up. You'll see in the future though. And there's a, there's a moment in level 10 that's super cool as well. Or level 11, I think it is. Something like that. But uh, there's just so many cool moments. Um, oh, actually, is it level 14? I can't remember anymore. Honestly, like, I haven't played through this map, uh, fully yet. Obviously, like I said, this is my first, uh, run through ever. Um, and I'm already really enjoying it. Um, obviously, through playtesting, I have went through each level to make sure it feels good. Um, but this is officially the full run where I've activated, you know, proper checkpoints and stuff. 
and uh, overall just feels so good to you know practice your aerials. You know, I've played this game for over 11,000 hours, and I still feel like I'm improving from this, which is why I think this should be... Oh! Oh, we're good! Look at that. I know I use my unlimited flips. That's okay, though. Um, like, I, I, f I feel like there's still room to improve, as you can see. Um, it's hard to run through this like this and focus while talking through the whole thing, but I kind of wanted to talk uh, with you guys about, you know, how it has been to make something like this, and... Uh, I've had a lot of positive reviews so far from friends who have tried the map, so I was very excited to do a run through myself and uh, see what it's like. And so far, it's really enjoyable. Like I love this part where you're constantly flying upwards. Um, there's some really cool angles. I, I throw some curveballs, like this one goes a little bit lower, um, which I think is cool. That it's not like super smooth to the point where it's brainless. You have to actually still think. Um, but there's some areas like this where I keep the rings at the same height. That way, you can just like navigate through with spins and uh, keep your momentum. It's honestly really enjoyable so far though. We're already on level 11. It wasn't level 11 that I was talking about. I think it's level 14 or 13, where basically you're gonna do a dive bomb through the city, which is really, really cool. Um, this one's kind of like, I don't know if you've noticed, but we're kind of doing this slow climb throughout the levels. And I plan that on purpose. Um, as you go through the levels here, we're gonna be slowly climbing up to the top of the city. And then we're gonna do a dive bomb back down uh, and if you've noticed, like I said, the rings have been getting smaller and we're on the uh, third set of rings. So we're now on like the third smallest set. There's one more set. Oh, this angle right here too. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm just so happy with how it turned out. I know it's very simple though. Like if you, if you look around the city, it's, it's just like the same kind of, I know I'm kind of re <laughs> revealing my secrets, but it's the same pieces of like the city repeated over and over again. I use these, uh, certain platforms. You can, so it's the same kind of style platform for each level. Um, whenever you finish it, there's like these square kind of uh, towers, but these city buildings like this where you, I, I like the uh, the other part of it too, is that you're actually driving on certain parts of the level. Like you saw that like little curved part. I didn't really mention it when I was there, but I like that you're driving on certain parts too, because I feel like most rings map nowadays, you just fly the whole time, but it's nice to change up the, you know, the way you're driving and you can kind of get fancy with it and drift away. This is the level. So it is level 14. Um, where you do a dive bomb. You have to kind of control your, your speed as you go down too. Because if you if you go too fast, you're just going to crash. Oh, as I said. So right here, you're going to want to spin um, and control your car as you come down. Um, and then you can kind of level out here. But like, there's so many cool angles like this and it just looks really nice. Um, let's finish off this ring here. And we're going to be moving into the last set of five levels after this one. So... Um, these last five levels are pretty tight and honestly for the whole run, it's kind of smooth until the last level. I kind of threw in a little bit more of a curveball in the last one. Uh, most people that I watched play test for the first time, they end up failing on that level, uh, for the first time. Oh, once again, I just love one of the moonlight is in the angle or in the shot because it adds so many nice shadows. Ooh, that part two is pretty, pretty close. The fog really adds to it though. I played around with the fog colors for about an hour. <laughs> I know that seems pretty ridiculous probably, but I wanted to match the uh, the colors of the uh, the map. Originally I was going to do different colors, but then I feel, f figured out that the fog kind of adds to the aesthetic of the lights. And when you play with full settings on this, oh my goodness, the bloom and everything, just so pretty. Let's see if we can go through these rings. I'm kind of not really air rolling as much because I'm trying to focus on talking as well, which is really, really tough. But, you know, this, I want to do, a, do this in a first take, for sure. Alright, this is the last, uh, last three levels? Four levels? Yeah, four levels. This is the level I was talking about earlier, too. Has one of the nicest shadow moments, uh, when you're climbing this building. Because it's just, it's perfectly in line with the moon. And I did that on purpose, and I spent a long time playtesting to get this to line up perfectly. But right here is where the moon kind of goes in the light of the, the rings. And it has a really cool aura effect. I'm not even sure like what, how to explain it, but it makes your car look really trippy. And there we go. So that was really, really nice. I, I really like that part. I know it's like maybe a little disorienting, but uh, without the full settings on, it's pretty, it's pretty doable. Um, and even with full settings, it's fine. Um, this level I actually made completely flat. There's no change in elevation. You just kind of go through the level, uh, through the rings around in a snake pattern. And you'll notice too that if you're familiar with my glacial rings, I had names for each level. I kind of scrapped that all together because I just didn't like the names. Um, and I didn't really know what to call the levels in this one because they're all kind of 
the same. They're not really like the same, obviously, but there's not like any uh, personality to each level. Like the map kind of speaks for itself. Oops. Oops. Not looking. <gasps> Oof. <laughs> we're fine. We're still gonna probably be within that uh, that time limit I put my set myself because we're at level 19 already. Um, I think I could probably aim for probably 8:30 time. Seeing that we're on the last two levels and we're at 8:30, I think well, that's probably the speed run goal is to get 8:30. But we're still doing well, and uh, I think we could probably get a sub 9:10 here. Oof. I like this part too where we're climbing in a circle. And kind of practice your air rolls. I'm um, kind of going for like more efficiency here, but we're uh, still we're still climbing. We're at nine minutes, and this last level is a little. Oh, we're not gonna get nine ten actually, because the last level is a little long. But uh, here we go. So this last one is where people can get really tripped up. You have to be kind of careful, and I can actually use the ball cam to my advantage on this level. I haven't really used it at all, as it hasn't really been necessary. But you can use them if you need to to adjust. Because if you ever get stuck on a ring or something, or change your your momentum. The camera can get really weird so i made sure to put a ball cam on each uh end platform that way you can use it to your advantage and uh okay we're actually already at 9 30 so went faster than i expected this level's pretty long uh, i did that on purpose too because it's that final stretch so when you're in impossible mode it can be pretty uh stressful but here we go i'm gonna make our way down Whoop. this is the part that's kind of weird so you want to kind of like level yourself out and then fix your camera there we go yeah, you can get pretty disoriented pretty fast if you don't uh, focus there. And like I said, I want to do a one take Andy here and make sure that I do this on the first try. Oh, let's make it perfectly 10. Let's go. So 10 minutes exactly on the clock. That's perfect. Um, pretty happy with that. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the first run. Let's jump into an impossible mode here, though, right off the bat and see if we can do it. Um, either way, we'll probably just end it, end it either way. But pretty happy with that. You know, first run ever, uh, zero deaths. I made it pretty manageable. This map is definitely a lot easier than the Glacial Rings map. Um, and uh, I'll be doing some challenges on this map in the future as well, in future videos. And like I said, um, patrons will have this uh, now. And within two to three weeks, it'll be available to the public. So if you want to support me on Patreon, go to the link in the description. Uh, it's $5 and you get all my maps early access for a week or so. Uh, for this one, I just wanted to make it extra special because like I said, I haven't been really making maps for a while, so I took a little more time to make this map. And it's been a while since I've released a map to early access. So this one's going to be the one uh, where it's a big, big reward for the people who have been supporting me continuously uh, for the last month or so. Let's uh, let's try to get a better time, though. Let's, let's aim for about nine and a half minutes, maybe nine minutes. And I already know people are going to be speedrunning this thing. So I'm going to be looking at, you know, the world record pace and keep an eye on them and hopefully maybe challenge some people to do some races on the channel um and then i'm gonna get to work on a third rings map i think uh like i said i really want to see what you guys think for themes uh maybe i'll pick the theme for the most liked comment on this video and whatever one gets the most likes i'll, I'll make that theme um i was thinking we could do a space one would be pretty cool with like planets and stuff maybe asteroids i actually really like that one i really like that idea i've been thinking about that one for a while so if you like that and you agree you know just let me know in the comments and also let me know if you guys think there's any parts that are like confusing or that I should change. I think honestly, I don't think there's any parts that are confusing, but it's always hard when you're a map creator knowing what is obvious and what isn't because you know what you created. And that's a huge thing. Um, when I was making my Minecraft map, uh, which I don't know if I, I haven't really talked too much about it. I made I made a little uh, clip in my Minecraft uh, in Rocket League video uh, where I showed some of the map I made that took me a year and a half to make. But it was really, really hard to know what was obvious as a puzzle answer or like where the dungeons are and stuff when you know where they are. <laughs> I know that's really confusing, but it's like really, really difficult to uh, to make it like differentiate between uh, too obvious, not obvious enough and just right. And also my rings map, I was having trouble with I was having trouble figuring out what was uh, like obvious where you should go. And whether it was uh, unintuitive. So I've definitely made some improvements in that front in this map compared to my glacial rings. But I think honestly the glacial rings was fine. It just, um, there were some tight turns that were not as obvious for new players and stuff. Uh, and like I said, I want to be more inviting to people who are not as experienced aerial wise. Um, and same with the dribble map that I'm creating. Uh, that'll be out soon as well. 
Because my first dribble challenge was obviously very, very difficult. If, you, uh, if you've seen them on the channel, the videos on the channel, they're pretty tough, um, the levels. And so I learned, I, I honestly made that one for myself more than anyone else because I just wanted something that was really, really challenging and something that I could, you know, improve on. Because when you've played the game for 11,000 hours, back then it was probably like 8,000 hours, but when you play the game that much, you really just want to, you know, elevate your game to the point where, you know, it's not really frustrating if you lose. You're actually, like, happy that there's somewhere to improve. So I made the levels really, really difficult. And uh, the more I played it, oh boy, I'm just going to do that because I don't want to die. Um, you know, after playing it for that many hours, it's honestly not too bad anymore, and that's really good. That, that shows me that I've improved. Um, and I honestly haven't done one of those dribble challenges in a while on the channel, and I don't... I, I wanted, I want to finish my new dribbling challenge so I can finally make a video on it, because uh, it's really, really clean. It's really, really clean. I don't, I don't know if I can show a photo here, uh, if I send it to Danny. I'll probably send it to Danny here, and you can see it. But I just love the look of this one. It's going to be really, really nice. Um, once it's complete and it's a lot easier than my first one that's 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 basically my point is that it's gonna be a lot easier for you guys um who are new to the game and maybe unfamiliar with dribble maps because dribbling is hard in this game and it's 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 easy to forget that that it's hard when you've done it for so long but it is hard to learn and and uh just, just dribbling the ball without actually ever having to go around obstacles is hard enough as it is oh my gosh i'm not paying attention to the map i gotta be careful this is impossible mode so if i die that's it we're coming up to that uh, really nice cinematic once again. I'm very, very excited to do it again. It just looks so pretty when you go through it, especially when you're spinning around in the shadows. Um, there's some, there's some really, uh, really good moments, like I said, and I, I really want to like work on a third map that can mimic those kind of moments and be really satisfying to go through. Um, and also, like, I wanted the runtime of this map to be a little shorter because I feel like people want to like jump between training on rings and then going to ranked so i don't want people to have to spend 15 20 minutes uh or up to upwards of an hour if they're not as experienced on a map and oh here it is oh it's so pretty just love it it's so nice and uh like i said people have had good things to say about this map and i think that uh it makes me motivated to make another one because uh people have been looking forward to this map being released for a very very long time and i'm super excited to finally you know be able to say that it's out there um obviously it's just there for patron supporters for now but i'll make a video announcing when the the map is ready and it'll be on my website lethemir.com if you haven't checked my website before um there's all of my maps on there and we're currently working on trying to get all the community maps there as well for you guys on epic games uh obviously for community maps they're all on steam workshop if you uh are on steam but having access from epic would be great so that's what i'm working on uh now is trying to get that done Let's see if we can pick it up the pace, though. And hopefully not die. That'd be the worst. Either way, if we die or not, I'm just going to end end it there. Just because this is, like, the first run, like I said. This is going to be uh, a one-take Andy. Just give it a go and see what it's like. I think we're going to get 9.45 or 9.30 on this one. So, not too bad. Not too shabby. And obviously, because this is cut up, you're not going to see every little bit of it. But... Uh, still pretty happy with the runs and uh, very excited to challenge some people to this. Maybe Rapid or Arsenal. Uh, let me know in the comments who you guys want to see. I know Arsenal and I have been doing quite a series. It's been a lot of fun. Can we get 9.45 on this? I don't know. Let's see. Whew. We go nice and slow. Hopefully we don't die either. That'd be, that'd be pretty awful now. Ah! There we go. No, not 9:45. We're gonna beat. We're not gonna make it. Oh, that's a 9:48. I think maybe. Yeah. Hey, that's still pretty good though. We did beat our first time. But I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a lot of fun to go through. We ended up winning both normal mode and impossible mode. Uh, hard mode, uh, by the way, just so you know, is basically if you fail the level, you go back a level, just one level instead of resetting the level one. Overall, I think it's very, very great. Um, I think 20 levels is a perfect uh, amount. Just like my glacial rings, I think 30 would have been too much. But I really enjoy the map. I hope you guys do as well. And uh, overall, I'm very, very happy. I just, uh, you know, I'm glad it's finally out there. Um, like I said, if you want to support me on Patreon, you'll get this map uh, now. Uh, early access. It'll be out in about two to three weeks for the rest of you guys. But until next time, hope you guys have a great day. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.